This is my newly designed 3D printed groove plane. This version was the first prototype and it was built to uh, use this vintage chisel as a, as a cutter. But I decided if I wanted to share the files for this so that others can print their own, it needed to be something more standardized because every chisel brand or style has a slightly different taper, so the wedge angle has to take that into account. So instead what I've done is I picked up this 6mm or a 6mm uh, cutter bit from, I got it off of Amazon, and it comes just as a straight bar stock and you have to grind your own bevel. Uh, but that uh, is meant for like fly cutters or lathe cutters, that kind of thing, machine tools. But it's readily available from Amazon, from eBay, wherever you want to get it. Um, commonplace and not that expensive. So the uh, wedge here doesn't need to take a taper into account because the, the bar is it's straight, has no taper. Now, so both of these were designed to make, well, this one makes a quarter inch wide groove a quarter inch from the edge. This one makes a six millimeter groove a quarter inch from the edge. Uh, the intention of these tools is to put the groove there for the bottom of a box or a drawer is what uh, my intended purpose for it is. And both work. The other thing I noticed upon using this prototype made of PLA was that there was a little bit of wear even on just a few test cuts on the sole. And so what I did um, to address this was I have a just a little less than a half inch deep mortise in that uh, skate, the sole portion of the plane, and into that I've placed aluminum flat bar. Here's an example of the flat bar. This stuff is relatively inexpensive as well. Um, last I looked, Home Depot sells like eight foot lengths of it for about eight or ten dollars, something in that range. So again, and you can also get this on online. It seems to be less expensive if you can get it locally, uh, at least in, in larger quantities. You might come across a, a cheaper deal. So now I'll demonstrate the plane actually making a cut. I'll just line the fence up at the edge of the board. I've got the cutter set relatively aggressively. It's taking probably 20 thousandths of an inch or close to a millimeter thick shavings. And then when it quits cutting, that's because it's down to depth. There you can see our groove. Works like a charm.